Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, okay, I know what everybody's gonna do. Everybody's gonna go look at the title, look at the thumbnail, and go, this isn't good. And you might say something in the comments about, you know, a lot of different thoughts and opinions going on right now, okay? But let's all take a deep breath, and let's just break this down together, okay? Because we're all in this together, so let's just all break this down together. Now, I'm getting this information from our good friends over at pewterreport.com. I will have a link to their website as well as their YouTube channel. Go subscribe to their YouTube channel. Give them some support. Let's go get them to 5,000 subscribers. But you guys can read the title here on the right-hand side, an article written by John Ledyard of the Pewter Report. It says, Bucks outside linebacker Tryon sits out debut practice after knee scope. What a knee scope? is is it's essentially a minor surgical procedure that clears out some stuff in one's knee and then the debut uh, the uh, debut practice is alluding to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers rookie mini camp that just started today Friday May 14th this is being recorded on May 15th so it's the you know basically it's very late uh you know May 14th and early morning May 15th but you guys get the point okay the Buccaneers rookie mini camp just started Joe Tryon is not a part of it right now but let's go ahead and break down a little bit of what is going on in this article so you know, obviously, this article talks about how Joe Tryon, he's going to be delayed a little bit in terms of, you know, debuting for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a practice because he did not yet pass his physical. Now, this could also be a reason as to why he has not signed his rookie contract yet. We have seen uh, KJ Britt, we've seen Chris Wilcox and Grant Stewart all sign their deals. Uh, we're still waiting on some of the other rookies. This could be obviously a reason as to why Joe Tryon has yet to sign his rookie contract. But we also get a question here from Bruce Arians that says he still hasn't passed his physical he had a slight scope and he's real close but we're not going to take any chances and this is the first interesting thing in the article here uh, that is really interesting to me it says Arians later added that the scope occurred a few weeks ago on Tryon's knee uh, the injury is not expected to keep the Washington edge rusher sidelined for long and we'll talk about that other quote there in a minute but this scope, this minor surgical procedure occurred a few weeks ago. Now, I'm not an expert at, you know, math and timing and everything, but that means that this surgical procedure occurred before he was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which leads me to believe that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers already knew that this was a thing. And I know that there were some concerns from teams about not getting all the medical information that they wanted about certain draft prospects. This also could have been a reason as to why Joe Tryon fell to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at pick 32. But if I had to guess, I would think that the Buccaneers knew that this procedure was done. They were confident that Joe Tryon would be back in a relatively quick time and still be able to get the reps that he needs to get ready for the preseason and get ready for the regular season as well. And that's another question a lot of people are going to have, is how long is it going to take for Joe Tryon to get back into action? So we're going to take a look at this other quote here that says, we're going to take it slow. He'll be ready for mandatory minicamp for sure maybe sooner. So he is 100%, at least according to Bruce Arians, for sure he's going to be ready for mandatory minicamp, which if we go ahead and we scroll down here, mandatory minicamp is June 7th to June 9th. So that is, you know, I would say the What's the word? I guess the ceiling in terms of, you know, the time for Joe Tryon to get back. You know, the latest he should be getting back is going to be June 7th to June 9th, if not before that. So I think there's a lot of confidence here from Bruce Arians and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as to say, you know, hey, yeah, he had a minor thing done. Yeah, he won't be able to participate in this rookie minicamp, but he'll be ready in three weeks and, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be good to go, which is you know, very good that this will not linger and drag out, you know, obviously this will be a thing to pay attention to how Joe Tryon's knee is doing and him coming back, not having played football for such a long time as he uh, opted out of the 2020 season. So this is going to be some stuff to pay attention to, but also another interesting tidbit that happened here was um, if you go ahead and let me see if I can find it. Hold on. There is another part here that was very interesting. Here it is. Tryon worked out with a trainer on the side during Friday's practice, but didn't participate in drills. So Joe Tryon was still there. 
He was still getting a little bit of some work in. He was still watching this practice and learning, probably talking to the coaches and still doing what he needs to do to try and get up to speed as much as possible. He's still, you know, obviously studying the playbook. There are still things going on. He just can't participate in drills right now. And even then, it won't be for that long. Only three weeks um, at max three weeks, you know, three and a half weeks, whatever you want to call it. So all in all, guys, you know, while this is, you know, obviously potentially alarming to some people, I wouldn't freak out about it, right? Yes, he had a minor surgical procedure done before the NFL draft, but the Buccaneers won. They were confident in taking Joe Tryon still, uh, even with that knowledge potentially of, okay, yeah, we know he had a minor surgical procedure done. And two, he's not going to be out for that much time. He's still going to be there for mandatory minicamp in the start of June. He's still going to be there for preseason games. He's still going to be ready for the regular season. Everything will be fine. It's just a couple of weeks here where he won't be able to participate in drills, even if that is the case. It seems like Bruce Arians is confident that he could be ready even sooner. So, all in all, guys, that's kind of your injury update here on Joe Tryon. I thought I uh, should go ahead and get this information out here again. Shout out to Pewter Report for being on top of things. Um, I wish I could be there at Mandatory Minicamp, but, uh, you know, I, I was told I, I was told no. <laughs> I was told there ain't enough spots. So it is what it is, but, um, you know, still it is a phenomenal thing, uh, you know, to get this information out there and just get as much insight as possible on these things. And I'm thankful to Pewter Report for uh, giving us a helping hand here on the YouTube channel. So what do you guys think about this information? Let me know down in the comments section below about the Joe Tryon news and the injury and whatnot. Give me your guys' thoughts. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks. By the way, just real quick, I shouldn't even call it an injury, just the procedure that was done. It wasn't even a necessity. It was just something that was done. So I, I wouldn't even call it an injury, just the uh, cleanup that was done here. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Go Bucks. See you guys soon.